Hi, programmers. Uh, my tape messed up, so I already have some of this done. It might be a good thing because I kind of messed up anyway. But what we did is, I'm going to delete this dude out. We created three group boxes. This one, this one, and this one. And this first one, we call him PREID Group Box 1. And uh, I said no text on him so that he wouldn't have any writing. And that's down here. This next one, I called this one Name Group Box 1. And also, he has no text and he is visible is false. This next one is. Um, um, what I call it in out group box one and he has no text on him and visible is false then I created two text box this first text box is pre ID text box one and did I do anything special to him? I didn't do anything special to him but I did give him one procedure I click created the text changed procedure and then the next one, properties, uh, is in out text box one. I didn't do anything special to him except that I did give him a procedure, and his procedure is key down. Did we not do that? Something happened to it. Uh, key up, key down. Let me see if he got created. If he didn't, then we'll create it. I, I don't want to do something to. Well, apparently not. Uh, oh, I know what I did. I did PRE text box key down, and we don't want that. We might have to go in there and do some cut. This is, okay, let's save. A lot of times this is a problem. Let's see if it'll run. Because a lot of times if you, yep, nope, builders. Recap, label, oh, well, we're going to comment all that stuff out. Let's comment all this out that I added. Uh-huh, we're going to comment. Okay. G we got to take key down. Okay, so what we got to do here, we got to say edit, find, uh, quick find. We got to look for P R E I D T E X T B O X 1 underscore K E Y D L W N. And we're going to look in uh, current project. There that booger is. We got to get rid of this line manually program is not going to um, compile with it there. That's the only way I know to get it out. Let's see. Is it compiled? Okay. It's compiled. Okay. Shoo. Now let's go back to designer. This in out. He was supposed to have the key down. Let's see. Um, key down okay now we're going to go back to this now we've got our text boxes up there and um, in my load section I added these two lines I said PREID text box one dot text equal blank or you know, just spaces, and then I set the focus to PRE text box one. It might would already do that, but I always initialize stuff. Old habits is hard to break. Now we're going to go to the text change or the text change. We're going to, if it equals four, we're going to work because my employee numbers are all four characters. I start with a thousand and go to um, you know but they're all four characters so that's just that so if you have one I don't know if 
are starting at a thousand. That's just that. Um, we're going to create a recalc label. I can't remember why I did that, but we'll figure it out. Let's just, right now, we're just going to put it here. We might put it someplace else later, but I want the program not to have an error. So that's what we're going to do. Label. Recalc label. Okay, so so we've got that recalc label. He's not going to be a problem anymore. We created an integer. We want to make sure that what we entered was a number. That's what this try business is all about. So I hope you can see the code. We said m number, that's the thing we created, equals convert dot to int32, and then inside parens, uh, pre id text box one dot text. Then I did a catch, and if it's, you know, they entered something bad, then I send a message that says enter a numeric value. Um, I create um, a date time field. Okay. This is probably those things that um, we did. Let's go ahead and test what we've got so far. Let's see. Even though we're not doing a database. One, two, three, four. Yep, no. Now, if we say like 1104, that's my number. Four. And probably when we're done, I would make this box smaller. Okay, it didn't do nothing because it's, it's fine with that. That was an okay number. Now, we're going to go to the, do a read. We're going to go to the database. Now, we create our OLD, OLEDB data reader. My reader equals null. Now, if we use an SQL, there would be different commands, but we're not. Now, you'll see I had a big path in there. Well, we're not going to do that. That's the reason that we did our thing up there. We're going to say data text box one dot text because there's a, like a gazillion. I do a, a whole bunch of reads in my programs the way I do them. So we're going to put instead of this control string, we're going to have data yep, dot txt. Uh oh, misspelled that. It ain't going to work. see what goes on here. Then we're going to open the database. Uh, why does it like that? Is assigned. Okay, that's just saying it's not used. We're going to use it. Now I'm going to try to open the database. And if there's a problem, it's going to give me an error. And believe you me, I've had errors. Like for instance, if you're messing around in the database and forget to close it, it'll give you an error. Or just, you know, did the wrong thing. Okay. Now we've created our command. OLDB my command equals my connection dot create command. And then we've given our command some text. We're saying select star from PRE where PRE ID equals PRE text box one dot text. Now we've got our name labeled text box dot text equals spaces and the box is visible. We already we started them off visible, but people like it my work, but they had this running months at a time without pulling it down. So now we're gonna execute the reader. Um, um and then we're gonna put the name and of the field that we just picked up in that label text. And then we're going to say, well, the group docs is visible. Now, we've got some more stuff to do, but to make it short, we're going to stop there. I mean, for now, we will do more later, but this video is getting kind of long. 
We'll do more lighter though. Let's see if it'll run for us. All right, we'll do my number and we'll see if my name pops up. It's Cindy Oaks. Oh, four. <gasps> did it not? It did, Cindy Oaks. Now, eventually we're going to do something there and we're going to do something there too. But not today, okay? Maybe in the next lesson, alrighty? Okay, that's all for today. Bye.